Jordan Addison is a six foot, 175 pound receiver from USC. Started his career at Pittsburgh, where he played with Kenny Pickett, who was the quarterback of the Steelers, but transferred to USC for his junior season. Let's talk about the stats before we get into the film of Jordan Addison. In 2020, he had 60 catches, 666 yards, four TDs. 2021, which is the year everybody took notice of him, and which most people are probably giving their analysis on Jordan Addison based off that 2021 film with Kenny Pickett. He had 100 catches for almost 1,600 yards, 17 TDs. Uh, last year at USC, under the tutelage of Lincoln Riley and um, Caleb, uh, Caleb Williams, I think, is the quarterback, he had 59 catches, 875 yards, and 8 TDs. You won't see any 2021 film on this video because I'm all about what have you done for me lately. So unless I have to go back and get old film, I choose not to. And so this breakdown is based off his 2022 season. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gents, let's start here with Jordan Addison. Um, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plays, and we're going to talk about the good and the bad and see what we come up with. Let's start. Tim Holly at the bottom. This is one of the things he does very well. Uh, the first two plays is the same route at different, you know, different points of the field. He does a good job of starting and stopping on this. One foot in the ground and go. There's not a bunch of extra steps when you get ready to plant that foot in the ground. He He's really just a stab, no extra steps, and come back out. And that's the way it needs to be. He set it up by, you know, faking the little outside move. Now he's running the slant. The DB's already in reach mode. So now he's about to be in oh shit mode, chasing him down. Man, that one foot in the ground, no extra steps. Look at the separation. The, the DB had to basically reverse out. Because that's how bad he was in position and how well he was uh, fooled by Addison. And that's a great job of running a whip route. Especially with him being out there by himself as a, a single receiver. That's a great job of setting that route up and then executing it at a high level. Let's go to the second play, which is a whip route again. This time it's at the top of the, the screen. At the very top. Kind of does the same thing. I uh, see he had a little extra step on that one. But again. He ran so many shallow routes, and you can see all the shallow routes if you go watch the long version of the film, but you got to be a member or a Patreon to see it. He ran a ton of shallow routes. They had a little screen where he would come from one side to the other, and so that's how they set this whip route up, doing that. But again, you see him you know, coming in, stick that foot in the ground. Now, whereas at the first play, see he took that extra step, the extra little hop step. He didn't take that on the first one, but on this one he took it. But again, he ran it so well that the DB just had to grab him in order to give up the touchdown. He just grabbed him in order to give up the touchdown. Make him, make him earn it again. It's a good route. Smart play by the DB, but an excellent route by, by Addison. Let's go to play three. Got him highlighted at the bottom. See, he got inside leverage on the DB, and he's trying to run inside. So what he's going to do is he's going to widen out. He's going to widen the DB out so he can get inside of him and still run the route. I'm going to push him out a little bit, and that just gave me more room. Now he overcommits. He overcommits, and he's going to stick it right back inside of him. Look at that. That's the room he needed. That's the room he needed. Now he just need a good ball, which he got. Now, hands catch. It is all hands. Eyes to the hands, too. Eyes to the hands. It's a great route. Great route. Let's watch it again. DB got inside leverage on him, so I need to widen him out in order to make myself, well, to give myself some more room, which is what he's going to do in these next three steps. Boom. In and out of the break. Knees over, shoulders over knees. That's perfect alignment. Shoulders over knees and got inside. Perfect alignment on the break. Then turn up. Let's 
Got him in the slot now. Just going to run a deep over, if I'm not mistaken. A deep over out. And nothing spectacular about this. He just ran away from the kid. He just ran away from him. They're in some kind of man coverage with nobody really on that side of the field. He just ran the grass. The guy wasn't pressing him. was kind of off. He just ran away from him. And he just, just made a contested catch. And he really wasn't contested, honestly, because he had him on his back. Back outside again. Got a little comeback route. Pushes inside to create space. Gonna get the DB to kind of get close to the numbers. Stick his foot in the ground and work back. He does a good job of creating more leverage by little nuances in his routes. He does that really well. Push inside to make the DB, you know, give up more space because he know he's breaking outside and stick that foot in the ground. He really closed the cushion on him. Watch how fast, well, not watch how fast, but watch when he breaks down where he is as far as the cushion. He closed this cushion completely. So now the DB don't know where he's going. He could go in, he could go out. He could come up, the, he could uh, curl it. He, he could do a bunch, number of things. DB has no clue where he is because he closed that cushion so hard and did it by creating more space to the sideline. So now look at that. He's, ball should be out now. Ball's late, but still, because he ran such a good route, he's that wide open. and has a weather thought to get that foot down and not be out of bounds. This is the next one. All right. And this is some of the bad. Again, we can't be all good and all bad. You know, Addison is supposed to be one of the one of those guys in the in the draft. And you gotta win these. You gotta win these. You don't give a little foot fire at the top and really gets no <laughs> the DB didn't respect it at all. Got a pick. He did nothing to move the DB. The DB just kind of sat there and watched him do his little shimmy shake with his feet. He didn't, he didn't try to play defense on it, or he didn't try to knock him down. He didn't pull the guy down to prevent the interception. He just let it happen. At this point, you know you beat. Push the guy down. Push him down. Pull him down. Do something. Just don't, You'll take the penalty. At least you can still get the field goal if it's third down. And look like it's first down. If I'm looking right above, got locked up, I think it's first down. So you could have took this penalty and still had a shot to even get a touchdown by, you know, if you got positive yards, and at least come out with a field goal attempt. I need, I need the effort. And effort is what we're going to talk about at the end. Got him outside. Again, run the screen. Get him in your screen game. It can work. Could work. This is one of the few times where, but again, again, this was, this is blocked up good. This screen's blocked up good. And his rally was untouched. So he really didn't have to make anybody miss. This screen's blocked up pretty good. He just he just did a good job of running. I don't, really don't even think he was touched. Don't think he was touched. But again, if you can get him in there, you can get Lyman out in space in front of him, he do a good job of weaving through there and, and, and making the most out of it. A lot of off, off leverage. Watch this route. Mm. Just run away from him. Track the ball. Great job of tracking the ball. Great job of tracking the ball. Running the lip post. Balls up. Tracking. 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 Head don't move. Boom. Found it. I finish it. Finish it. Finish it by avoiding the tackle. But again, what I will say is, and this is a, this is a great job, a great job. They're playing Stanford. They're playing Stanford. Next play. Who you play means a lot to me. Who you go off versus means a lot to me. And he went off versus Stanford. I'm in the slot again. Gonna run his deep out and watch him push inside to get more space. Again, pushing inside to create it. 
Gives him more space when he decides to break out. Look at all the space he got. Even the DB even falls. Or slips, rather. Hands catch, which I love. I do love that part of his game. His hands are A1, certified. Watch him snatch that thing. Boop. And then get on up the field. Ball don't even get close to his body as far as in the catch process. Only time he gets close to his body when he decides to tuck it. Boop. Get up the field. A1 hands, I will say that. A1. Then lastly, we're going to finish with this one. In the slot again. Mm, look at that route. Turn the guy around. I was saying, at times, at times, great routes. Watch this. I'm a, I'm a, like I'm running the deep out. You're going to pivot to try to do it. Now he's in the blind spot. Look at the DB. DB turned his back to him. It's like he's running that deep out again. Nope. I'm going to post you up. Now this safety not even paying attention to him. He's just going to run right past him. His lights out. It's a great route. Great nuance in the route. Great nuance in the route. But I will say this. Let me get on my soapbox for a minute. He doesn't play hard all the time. There are times when he's not getting the ball or don't have a chance to get the ball, and he kind of loafs. He kind of loafs. But when he turns it on, he turns it on. So I question his ability to play hard all the time. It could be one of them cases where he knows he's going to be or knew he was going to be one of the top guys, and he's just trying to make sure he didn't get hurt. That, that could be the case. I don't know for sure. I'm guessing. I can only say what I see on tape. And it's going to kind of reflect in the score. So let's let's get on into these scores. But his hands his hands are a one when he's when he wants to run routes when he's juiced up when he's focused his routes are a one. But I need to see it more. I need him to be more consistent. I need to be more consistent. But let's get into the scores. All right. Keep in mind all of these. Excuse me. Keep in mind, all of these scores are out of 80. They're not 100. So the top score will be 80. Um, so for his hands, he has a 77. Routes and releases, he has a 64. IQ, he has a 68. Game speed, he has a 69. And Yak, he has a 68. There are a lot of times where he got the ball in the open space and just did not miss. And if you want to see examples of that, again, you need to be a member or a patron to see the long form films the long form film of Jordan Addison. There's, I think it's about three or four of them over there so far that I just recorded myself going through the process. And uh, that's where those videos are going to be. So I would appreciate if you decide to be a patron or a member and wanted to check, take a look at those long, long form films and kind of see how the process adds up with the scores. Uh, total 69.2 out of 80, 69.2 out of 80 for Jordan Addison which will put him at my number two wide receiver, if I'm not mistaken. So far behind Quentin Johnson. Yes, because Quentin has a 73. So, so far, Jordan Addison is my number two guy. Um, I just need to see more consistency out of him. He like he plays when he wants to or when he's motivated. But in the NFL, you need to be motivated all the time. All the time. Because you never know. But I appreciate you guys for coming through. Make sure you like comment subscribe whether you agree or disagree i really would like to hear from you guys um and let's do a little um call call a call of call to order if you're here at the end of this video i think addison's number is three put hashtag three in the comment section and we'll do it like that we'll do it like that for most of our videos from here on out if you if you're here to the end put hashtag three in the comment section and i know you got to the end and i appreciate you guys for staying to the end thank you thank you thank you see you soon you could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with me make sure you like comment and subscribe buy some merch if you feel like it become a member if you feel like it be a patreon if you feel like it thank y'all see you later peace